Hey, Carve, what do you think about the totem drama? Yo, Carve, let me know what you think about the plus one totem fiasco. Carve, did you expect them to knee jerk react to the totem drama and change it back? Out of three questions, every hour I get two have been related to the, the totem drama thing. And if you know, don't know what we're talking about, in the betrayal, like the launch announcement page or whatever, we got teased of plus one maximum number of summon totems on a shield as a craft from the, the unveiling, the mod. And, well, it doesn't exist in the game. And that made a lot of people unhappy. Especially if we go to a POV Ninja, look at Betrayal, and then we look at main skills. 33% of all people playing in the Betrayal softcore are playing Arc. Which of... Thirty-three percent also have spell totem on it. So, like, what ten percent total of everyone playing in betrayal are playing arc totems? It's like quite a lot of people. And then in uh, hardcore, it's twenty-nine percent, which of uh, almost half. So this like rough like like twenty five like like they got a lot, a lot of people like what twenty nine and out of the half so that's like what it's like around like fifteen percent of the betrayal hardcore population are playing totem like and you tease something like that and then you don't actually include it in the game. And you don't tell anyone about it. That's a yikes. Okay. So in the recent, somewhat recent uh, thread where people were uh, talking about not having the plus Two, I mean the two socket and three socket recipes and the one socket chrome recipes. Rory Rakham, our boy, talk uh, mentioned where is it? God damn it! Here. Uh, so this is the thread where he said we decided to turn it off for the release as it was big too too big of a boost and invalidated to Kohamut Fortress. It might make back in one day. With its own downside equivalent, but different for blood magic. Okay, so you know he replied to your own place. Uh, let me show you the Tukahoma's Fortress since that's what he's referring to. I think it's pretty important in this this discussion and this video. So that is a plus one max totem with blood magic keystone, some nice life totem damage, and some life totem. I mean uh, armor per totem. And the downside, or for the most part, the downside is the blood magic. You could argue that it can save you a lot of traveling for a totem build that wants to be crit and stay around here. You could say that. And when you are blood magic, you can still have ES. Especially with the new changes to ES, that's actually not even a bad thing. Like you could actually be like a hybrid. So... Yeah, so they didn't want to invalidate this shield. And decided to just not roll with it. Okay, you already see the edit ed mecha, like the edit that he's actually coming back. But... Basically, the issue here is that they teased the whole player base with a plus one totem craft on a shield, which means that we could do some nice CI builds, like ES-based builds, because we could craft a... It's a prefix, so we could craft two 
ES prefixes, resistances, in the, and yada, yada yada, crit, all the kind of good shit on your shield, and have a plus one. And they removed the uh, one extra totem for Hierophant. It used to have two extra totems as a Hierophant. So if you were, were playing a Hierophant now, without using the new support gem, which a lot of people didn't, because Hierophant's Ascendancy already gives you the effect that it, you land two totems at once. So if you, you have one base totem, Hierophant gives you another one, and then the skill tree gives you a third one. So if you're not using the chest piece that gives you a plus one totem, which a lot of people don't want to use, because lore weave and the buffed flasks and whatnot. Oh shit, I think that's another <laughs> another video. I don't know, actually I think that that, believes, that belongs into this video too. But I'll take it later. So, for the, a lot of people, they were at three totems. And if you use two totems, for a lot of time, it feels bad. Like, instead of casting always the maximum with two, you cast like what? Like 67% of your, your total DPS in one cast, and then you add one extra totem. That also kills one of the totems that you previously cast. And there's like a, kind of like how to, uh, mines have like a arming speed. Totems also have like this, they don't like start immediately casting. Like you land it, that doesn't happen. You you summon the totem, there's a, there's like this uh, kind of like cooldown or like whatever you want to call it, where the totem like just, you know, wakes up and then starts doing damage. You can see this with Warchief. So if you, if you summon a Warchief totem, I can actually show you. Never mind, I can't. I don't think I get it. But when you know when you summon a Warchief totem, first it gets the totem comes up, and then shortly after the uh, the actual Warchief, the guy that starts smashing things. So that that happens with spell totems too, except there's no animation for that. So you are actually kind of losing DPS when you do that, when you cast twice. And a lot of people were hoping that they would get plus one totem from a shield, so they would cast two and two to their maximum four. Right? So, a lot of people were unhappy. And I think for a good reason, because they didn't tell, tell us about it. So, from there, we go to... This is after the, uh, the, the huge... Now, this is a completely new thread, right? So they... Because he posted, he posted this, I, I assume this was supposed to be a respond to a different comment in the thre inside the thread. But yeah, so this was taken off into a completely new thread with over 600 comments now. And here it comes with, okay, we talk about it, this and we're going to re-enable them. It'll be rare and expensive to crash as, as its power deserves. We'll make sure it pats not when it's added in. Okay. So... The reason why they took it off is because it's it was too big of a boost. Let's just yeah, let's just completely like forget the, the the totem shield unique. Too big of a boost. Okay, so if you go from three totems to four totems, that's like what thirty three percent damage increase. Assuming your totems are always up and never die. If you go from four to five totems, that's still like a twenty five percent damage boost. If you come from five to six, you know, you see where it's going. It's always going to be a smaller bonus to your DPS overall, assuming they don't, they're always up and you have no issues with that. Uh, well, okay, so we can't craft that because it's too strong. Uh, well, how about Shaper uh, Helmets with place an additional mine. Okay, so if you're using minefield, you're placing three mines at one. So if you're a support there, you have a chance to place another one from the the uh, ascendancy nodes, but same DPS increase base. It's going from three to four. Same, and you can just all craft this? And it's not even a rare mod, like, I'm sure it's a, like, rare mod of the crafts, but it's not, it's not hard to get. So when it comes to pure DPS, it's basically the same as this. We have Drap Cloves, where we 
we get throw an additional trap. Traps with cluster trap, throw three taps, traps at the moment. So get the same DPS increase. Also, these don't just die. Like, it's always going to be the damage increase because you always throw the extra traps and your traps don't just die. Assuming, of course, that you have like the you have enough uh, trap trigger radius to actually make the traps all trigger on the target, or your support error with the node that makes uh, traps trigger when a nearby trap triggers, or you have instant like you have like zero uh, trap duration, so they instantly go off with the belt plus the jewels. Uh, so in terms of pure DPS, I would argue that this shield mod is less of a power increase than throw additional trap uh, or shaper gloves or shaper he uh, helmet for mines. I mean, sure, it's it's just one prefix, but this is also a support gem on the shaper items. And just like the shield, you can't use a unique shield, now you can use unique helm or unique gloves. Right? Using using a remote mine helmet makes it so that you can't use arguably one of the most broken items in the game, even after the nerf, an Indicon. So I think this kinda like rules out the the pure DPS side of things. And then we go into like utility. Well, if you're using totem for utility, you just use the the new support gem that already gives you plus two max totems, and you cast two to like summon two totems at once instead of two. So I don't see this as an issue for that either at all. I would really like to hear why. Like, what was the Big deal about that, personally. But yeah. So, what I think about this is that if you tease something like this, you either better include it in the game, or you better tell us in the patch notes, in the manifesto, or anywhere that you decided to take a step back and not include in the game because of reason X and Y, like Y. And not just... It's God. And not say anything. Because a lot of build, like build, like uh, people planned around using this mod, right? So, now we go back to them actually enabling it, right, and then uh, saying that it's uh, not rare, rare, so it's actually something we can obtain. Uh, so that's nice. It's nice that they actually. I I like it. I like the fact that they are uh, enabling it back, even after it because it's probably a knee, like a knee-jerk reaction to the all the the hate and everything. I think I think it's good that they're doing it. I just don't like how this happened. Kind of. It's just... But I want to look at the positive side of this. This uh, this change is that it tells us two things about the the unveiling system. First of all, item level matters. It might have been confirmed somewhere elsewhere, but I, I don't remember reading about it. I probably have missed it because I've been playing a lot, so I haven't had time to read all the Reddit shit lately. Um, so we know, now we know that item level matters, and it says save up your item level 75 shields with Veil Prefix until it happens. So it also means that the Veiled mods roll when you unveil them at the Jun, and not when the item drops. That's kind of nice too. 
because well it's just kind of nice also if you if you're playing with friends or like i am in private league we could uh hoard all the uh, high item level specific bases that have specific crafts that we want to have maxed to a single person to increase the chances of being able to get the max tiers right for example let's say that there was this mod and after you were to have it crafted it uh, enough times you know how you upgrade the tiers you'd have two totems just just, just an example right we would all hoard up all 75 plus shields to have one person so that when he or she uh, unveils them should have enough of them to upgrade it to the highest tier so that then we can craft the most powerful version of that tier so that's really nice and if you didn't know uh, you can actually tell what the on a veil, like the, the veiled I, the mod on is an item, if it's a prefix or a suffix. So here, in this this weapon, we have already have IPD, right? We have a flat cold damage. So those are two prefixes. And then we have strength, reduce stun, tran, stun threshold, and lightning resist. Those are suffixes. And if you look at the length of the veiled, like the animation, whatever, that actually tells you if it's a prefix or a suffix. And I think that the, the short uh, is suffix and the long one is prefix. I might remember this incorrectly, but, and we don't have another example where we just have the, the build mod. But like sometimes you have the, actually I can show you the unique uh, weapon that we have. Uh, in the uh, unique items discovered in Betrayal League so far, right here. If you look at this sword, it has two different, like it has a short one and then it has a long one. The, uh, like the... Uh, like, so we, at some point we thought that this was just like it's a hybrid. That's just the one mod that is hybrid, but it's actually a prefix and a suffix. And I'm pretty sure the suffix is the, the shorter one. I might remember this incorrectly. It was mentioned in, in some Reddit thread before the leak launched, where they were talking about uh, like the uh, AP shit that a lot of people don't really need to know about. But it was mentioned somewhere there. So that's nice to know. So when you find an available item, and if you want to hoard them, for someone, so if you find a shield, for example, that is 75 plus, and it only has a short line, we know that we don't need to hoard that for the specific person, because we only care about the prefixes. And speaking of the old mods, PoEDB, I'll actually, I'll give you this link on the description, PoEDB has a list of pretty much all the crafts also where to find them. I think this is still somewhat incomplete because some of the mods aren't in the game right now. For example, two sockets. Right, uh, we have two sockets and three sockets. So the uh, Vorici crafting still exists when they actually enable the game because I think this is uh, just box where I was pitching about in the last video. Like we don't have, like we don't know where they are. So this could be these could be default, but I don't think they are because you have six sockets here as well, which is just, we don't know where. <coughs> wow, sorry about that. I'm allergic to talking about bugs apparently. And yeah, so here we can actually search for the totem. And it says it's from Unveil, but as of now, this mod is not in the game yet. And that makes me wonder, if they removed this mod, what happened to the, you can apply an additional curse mod? I, as long, like, I don't know of anyone who has seen this yet, but it could, could also be because it's a high level, uh, high level uh, veiled mod, 
because we know we know that the item law matters and that it's from a very specific uh, syndicate member maybe for example maybe only uh, level 80 plus uh, mastermind is able to drop items with this like we don't exactly know it right it's just says unveil we don't know where from also if we go to the bottom there are these are all the Xanobots that don't exist anymore like inhabited by bandits and spiders these used to be mods that existed so keep that in mind so when you're reading some mods here it could be that they're just old ones that no longer exist i wonder if beyond exists yeah here so this doesn't actually exist right now in the game but yeah what do you guys think i said it earlier but i guess i'll finish my uh rant about this by saying it again if you see something like this and you decided to take it like pull it off before you actually release the game please tell your player base about it because a lot of people want to use this i guess not build, build defining but very built and like very strongly built enhancing items and crafts and all of this drama would have never existed if you if you just made a thread like a post explaining why you don't want to do this like why you're deciding to take it off none of this have, would have happened i think at least not at the scale as it, it did But I'm happy that uh, at least they mentioned it in the uh, in the Reddit thread. But I think it was the wrong place and at the wrong time, after like multiplex like few days of the league. And I'm wondering what happens with Blasmon Curse Curse Chest. What do you guys think? Is it, is it fine that they just uh, don't tell us anything, like they, they tease us about things and then just don't tell us about removing them and basically overhype people and then just, you know, it's like you give a lollipop to a kid and then uh, they enjoy it too much and then you take it away, kind of thing. I'm not a fan of this, like how, how this thing went out. And uh, hope that they could be the transparent company that we know the know them of being. So yeah. Hi. That was a very 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 weird sounding bye. I don't know what's going on. <laughs>